Um, I'm here today with Kathy Collins, um, friend, colleague, and one of the funnest people to sit and talk to because her mind is always going and she lets you in on all her little nuances. Um, for better or for worse. <laughs> <laughs> she's author of um, I Am Reading with Matt Glover, as well as Reading for Real, and one of my all-time favorites is Growing Readers. Mm -hmm. I love that book. Um, and what I love about Kathy is she has this incredibly developmentally fitting approach. She looks at kids and um, tries to figure out what fits for them. And um, we're really excited that we're gonna have her this summer here at the Summer Literacy Institute. Um, so I wanna thank you for being here and start out, you know, if you wanna just talk about your history with the Institute um, and go from there. Yeah, thank you, Thomason. It's nice to talk to you. We, uh, our pregame talk, we just um, have only been in meetings with like 10 to 30 other people. So it's really nice to chat with you one to one. Um, I'm excited that for the summer to uh, have the opportunity to teach again at the UNH Summer Literacy Institute. I, it's interesting because where I grew up as a teacher, if you will, um, was around uh, the writing project, the reading and writing project at Teachers College. And there's such a history and connection between my mentors and people that I um, encountered along the way at Teachers College and the UNH Summer Literacy Institute. But I had always been, you know, uh, working and teaching in New York City or Alaska or whatever. So I myself never attended the Literacy Institute as a student. And I, and truthfully, I was a little intimidated about it when I'd hear people talk about, oh, I was a two weeks in this, um, a course with Tom Romano and we did, and I was like, oh my goodness, that's intense and beautiful and a little intimidating. And um, and then, so it's interesting, the first, I when was the first, the first maybe it was like five or seven years ago, my, the first time I taught at the UNH Summer Literacy Institute. I'm just trying to think how long ago it was. But anyway, I had just come off of teaching at another institute right. for, for in, in New York City. And it was like um, thousand, more than a thousand people and the New York City intensity. And then the, I had to really shift gears to um, to the UNH Summer Literacy Institute. And what I so appreciated about teaching there is it's, even though you might be leading a section, the teachers are so um, engaged, involved, thoughtful. By the end, you feel like you're um, in a think tank with other people. You're just, everyone's bringing their, their thinking to the space and um, the, the, any walls come down, it's very um, intimate, if you will, where um, you really get to know people because the, the sections are such a nice size. So, so my history then is um, looking at it from afar and being in admiration slash intimidation uh, about it. I mean, because my goodness, the giants you've had teaching here are like, that's that's just, I think of Yankee Stadium, sorry, Red Sox fans, but Yankee Stadium has the, the museum, you know, in, out, in the outfield with uh, bronze busts and plaques. You could do that with your Literacy Institute and have like this um, field of champions. The people who've taught here really, um, that's pretty impressive. And I'm just so honored always to be invited to teach and to just, um, you know, step near that company. Uh, uh, the company we keep at the Institute's just always um, amazing from the co-presenters um, and the teachers and educators who uh, join. So yeah, so I, I think this summer will be either my third or fourth mm -hmm. course. Um, you know, maybe I might be on a every other year schedule kind of it feels like and I'm just I'm really excited about it 